Hi, I'm Yufeng Guo, and I'm here with Amit Jani, a Google expert in identity and access management. Thanks for joining me today, Amit. Thanks for having me. Let's dig right in. So with the increase in cyber attacks recently, it's more important than ever for IT to stay in control of who accesses company resources while still enabling employees to have simpler and more intuitive access to work apps and data. That's right. Employees often work outside the office, as we know, in coffee shops, hotels, airports, and from home. So it's important for companies to make sure that employees access apps and data securely. So let's just say I'm a chief information security officer, and I have a lot of employees who want to access their apps from outside the office, like you mentioned, and from their personal devices. OK, so you want employees being productive from anywhere, but IT wants to make sure that they are controlling what data they have access to. So let's take this example. You have a sales rep using the personal device, and it's about to close the deal. You want it done securely, safely, and successfully. We can see that our sales rep is using a corporate laptop that's approved by IT, but they're also using a personal tablet device that hasn't been approved by IT. The sales rep wants to be able to use their tablet to access CRM systems and G Suite, and corporate IT has to allow that. Right, so the employee wants to use their personal tablet and access work data. Exactly, but the problem is that personal tablets don't have as many security controls as the corporate device does. And so can you talk a little more about the risk of that? Well, the risk is that if an attacker exploits the weaknesses on this personal tablet, let's say that they use OS version flaws and things like that, they can get access to apps and data that they shouldn't be able to. Got it. So as a CISO, how can I make employees kind of more productive using these personal devices? Well, as a first step, what you want to do is only give our sales rep access to apps on their personal device if they're in the right context. Using Google Cloud's Access Context Manager, you can define a policy for these personal devices to only allow them to access some apps while the employee's in the office. So if we go to our sales rep in the office, they can now access their CRM system and G Suite applications from their personal device and from their corporate laptop. So that lets my sales reps be productive on their personal tablet while they're in the office and can be on a secure network. That's right. And so this is great right, for my employees that are working in the office all the time. But then what about when they leave the office? Good question. It's common today for our employees to be working outside the office. Let's say our sales rep goes to the coffee shop and they log in using public Wi-Fi. This is a problem because it may not be a secure network. Right, public Wi-Fi is often not so secure. Public Wi-Fi might be secure, but we need to be careful. Otherwise, attackers can exploit vulnerabilities in these networks to get access to users' devices, or they could easily look over a user's shoulders to see sensitive data or password information. Ah, yeah. So the way I've always done this is just by logging into a VPN when I'm accessing one of these networks. Well, VPNs might do the trick, but they can be one-size-fits-all, and they can be a pain for employees to log into. We have another way of giving context-aware access to applications using Google Cloud. Using Google Cloud services like IdentityWare Proxy and Cloud Identity, we can gather information from the employee's context, like the device they're logging in from, the type of network they're connected to, and we can set up a rule that blogs access to sensitive applications on personal devices when they are in a situation like this using public Wi-Fi. So if our sales rep moves from the office to the coffee shop, this triggers a context change in IdentityWare Proxy and Cloud Identity. And when our sales rep tries to access their CRM or G Suite app, they can access the app from the corporate device because this is a more secure device. But from the personal device, the app is blocked because of this heightened security need. Why don't you give it a try? All right. So, OK, so that's blocked. Here you can see it's failed. And here the access is granted. Got it. So as employees move around and their context changes, that changes their access to different apps. Exactly. So now that the sales rep can still be productive outside the office, but their access to certain apps on certain devices are restricted. And as a CISO, you can see granular controls to add heightened security in some context. Let's say your sales rep is closing a deal overseas and needs to travel to an international country that your security team is deemed to be a restricted country. If the sales rep accesses their app from a network like the hotel Wi-Fi, attackers may exploit vulnerabilities in the network to access the sales rep's app and data. All right, so I should just lock down all access to apps when employees are traveling to these countries. Not necessarily. It's often the case that executives need to be able to work from these higher security threat countries, and they need to access some sensitive data to get work done. 
Using Google Cloud, you can add an additional level of security for high-risk contexts like this. In Access Context Manager, I can set a rule that blocks all access to apps except G Suite Gmail from these countries, and only from a corporate device. Why don't you give it a try? On the personal device, why don't you try accessing Gmail? Sure. I'm going to flip over to Gmail here, and say I try to type in Gmail, and I hit Enter, and it looks I, like we're blocked. You're blocked. Okay. But from a corporate device, you'll lose access to the confidential data. OK, so no CRM access for me. Exactly. But when you check your email, it'll continue to work. Great. So now when the sales rep tries to access this application from the corporate device, everything works as planned. And the only app they can access is, of course, the G Suite app, because that's what's been termed to be safe. So that means the sales rep doesn't have access to all the apps with sensitive data in this country, but they can still be productive. Exactly. So now, even in these high-risk contexts, you can better keep employees productive and your apps and data safe. This is great. I think it might finally be time to get rid of that legacy VPN. Amit, thanks so much for talking to us today and teaching me how to keep a mobile workforce productive and secure. My pleasure, you fangs.